My name is Mitchell Dallas Herring. I'm an English instructor here at Central Carolina Technical College. The first time that I ever came into contact with CCTC was during a school field trip in eighth grade. It was a moment where I felt like I could belong in a college setting. And so whenever I finished graduate school, I remembered that moment and I remembered who I was in that moment. And I wanted to come back and teach that student because I feel like that student, you know, deserved to be taught. My name is Miles Williams and I've been here for 15 years. I'm the Vice President of Academic Affairs. You know, being a teacher is more than just teaching uh, a particular skill or just giving knowledge. It's, it's motivation of students. A lot of students here that come here, they've never been to a college before. Their parents have never been to a college. In 1974, I received a scholarship out of high school. Uh, which allowed me to attend a four-year college, University of Florida, and uh, it was through our local Kiwanis Club. Very appreciative of that as it helped to get me uh, where I am. I'm Susan Calkins, and I retired yesterday from my full-time faculty position in the College of Nursing. I taught there in that program for tw almost 21 years. I know that the foundation has always been there for my students. A student could come to me with a need, um, and sometimes he wouldn't tell you, they were too embarrassed to tell you, but you would find out. You'd find out they were wearing the same uniform, or they didn't have a book, or they had problems with transportation. And I could always call the foundation director and say, do you have any money for this? Do, is there any funding for a needy student? And it was always yes. My name is Priscilla Singleton. I am the Administrative Specialist for TRIA Student Support Services. I actually am an alumni, so I'm kind of a little bit of a loyal, you know, soul for when it comes to Central Carolina. It has a special place in my heart. I was given just a general scholarship. It's also one of the things that helped me get a book that I could not have afforded at that time. I have had so much given to me from Central Carolina, so much support, that I want to offer that same support to someone else. The reason that I'm motivated to give is I want to be one of those people who contributes to that student's education. Um, especially, you know, if you think about rural Clarendon County, being able to fund somebody attending college, I think is something that is incredibly important and worth giving to. My name is Tiffany McGainey. I am a instructor here at Central Carolina Technical College. I work in the uh, newly formed computer science department. <laughs> what inspired me to give was uh, giving, having scholarships for my students. Um, I have a lot of students who are from less fortunate and they, uh, they need some type of secondary, you know, uh, funding for uh, college. So being able to act to give them or have some scholarships for them or give them some money so they can actually continue to come to school. I kind of realized how important it is to give people the opportunity and I would have never been able to afford to go to a four-year school. I think if anybody's considering making a gift to the foundation that they should feel confident that the money that they give is going to go directly to a student or, or a program that's going to benefit. And that's a real encouragement to a student. We're investing in you. Your community's investing you in your future by making a gift towards that. By working with and donating to the CCTC Foundation, what I feel like I am doing is I am donating to like this community coffer of resources. So if we invest in scholarships for people who go into search tech, we have more qualified surgical technicians that are in our community. And if we invest in nurses, if we invest in the social infrastructure of Sumter and Clarendon County and every other county that we serve, then, you know, I feel like it makes sense to me to do that. Giving a gift or a donation makes me feel hopeful. It also makes me feel thankful because now I can. I tend to be somebody that likes to target where I'm giving money, so the foundation allows that. And had a list of all the scholarships that, that were available, I'm like, well, which one can I pick? You know? <laughs> And it doesn't have to be a million dollars. It can be any amount will make a difference in a student's life. Another thing that I'm really proud of that makes me feel really good about 
the foundation is that there's a scholarship that was given by Dr. Levi and Mrs. Levi and was named in honor of my mother, Elizabeth Calkins. And her name will live on because of that. The moment that I decided to give was very much so a moment of somebody asked and I was like, you know, if I don't, who will? And so I decided to be the person who does.